Warning, the Atari Creep YouTube channel is intended for a mature audience. Regardless of the subject matter, this video may contain strong language, simulated violence, and lots of psychological nudity. Viewer discretion is advised. What's up, Creepers and Geekers, Chris the Atari Creep. How is everyone doing today? Let me fix this. Oh my god. Be nice if it was, uh... It was aiming at me. <laughs> oh, what a shit show. I don't know. I stumbled upon this this nifty little tidbit of gaming. Uh, we're going to call it gaming history at this point. Uh, though it is current. It is a current event kind of situation. I'll put the link to this down below. Apparently Bud Light decided to make a gaming console. Uh, from what I'm reading here, it's probably just going to be the one. Just one. Okay. Let's see. Bud Light presents the coolest console ever. That's a pun. And you'll find out here in a few minutes. If you haven't seen this already. Introducing the BL6, the world's first ever self-cooling six-pack that also plays video games. It's half cozy, half console, and half projector. <laughs> I see that they're a little tongue-in-cheek with this. Yeah, we didn't think it would work either. So moving on, this is obviously rendering, but it's, uh, I assure you, this is a, this is fucking real, guys. <laughs> this is real. You know what? I'm going to pick on it, but it's actually pretty neat. It's pretty neat. Uh, if you look there at the bottom, there's a couple of buttons to, to button around with. You have a, a power button, what I can assume is a volume up and down, and a brightness button. Oh, excuse me. And all the way to the right is a snowflake, and I don't think that's a political statement. I think that's to engage the cooler the cooler section of this mechanical asshole so looking at the top here now what i gather here is you have two spots for beers two spots for controllers and two speakers um can you really complain about a cooler only having spots for two beers no this is a novelty it's a, it's a it's a goof it's fun it's something to do and they're actually doing it for a really good cause so um moving on to more uh, aesthetics of the thing uh there you go if you look there on the far left there's a little rectangle there that's uh it's a projector so it's a cooler projector video game console and it's all contained within one um comes with a six pack of games how clever uh, apparently these are repurposed games specifically for this console sound like something else uh let's see what we got here we got tekken 7 soul caliber 6 uh, freeze tag, no idea what the hell that is. RBI 20 baseball, bro force. I don't know what that is, but I really want to check that out. Uh, I, I should see if that's on fucking Steam if it'll download to a Mac. And six puck, which is kind of like an air, air uh, hockey table kind of game, which I think would be an amazing addition to the Amico with the controllers. Um, that action would be fucking amazing. But regardless, uh, it comes with six games. You can cool two beers and. Yeah. So how much is this motherfucker going to cost you? Well, right now the current bid is $5,150. Let's look at a few more of these pictures. Uh, more importantly, this one here, all the proceeds of this thing goes to the National Restaurant Association. I don't, I don't know of them personally. I've never really heard of them. But if they're anything from what I'm surmising, so to speak, uh, I think they do pretty, they do well. They do well for, uh, mainly small business restaurants and stuff like that. Um, I know in this COVID era of things, a lot of areas are being very, uh, they're, they're restricted as to what you can and can't do uh, when it comes to dining out. And I know it changes like daily almost. Uh, there's a few local joints that I love to go to here that are struggling. They're struggling. One or two have already closed. So I'm hoping and, and, and assuming that the National Restaurant Association is gathering these funds to maybe help out a small restaurant in a specific community. But um, if not, someone tell me down below what their deal is. There's the buttons. Okay, there's another rendering of it. There's the snowflake button. Here's the back. I don't think we've seen this yet. The HDMI to the far left. So you can plug this into a TV if you'd like. Uh, two USB and uh, a, power, a power input. And there's your... Uh, your koozie beer being cool. There's the controller. I don't think that we've seen a picture of the actual controller, though. Uh, there is a video. There is a video I waited to watch. 
on this right here. Let's scroll. Oh, here we go. More pictures. I'm sorry. I'm all over the place today. A bunch of pics to wet your whistle. So there you go. There's the cooler. There's the projector. There's a controller sticking out of its cradle. Blah, 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 blah. Um, I'm not going through all this crap. Let's watch this video. I've already watched it, obviously. Um, and I don't think you're going to hear it, but it doesn't matter. It's just goofy music in the background. And it's not very long, either, so. <laughs> it's a neat idea. It's, it, it, you know, it is what it is. I mean, if you're going to spend five, six grand on this, are you, like, legitimately going to actually bring it to your buddy's house? Maybe. Maybe I would. I would. Here's all the specs and overviews. Again, all the links to this will be down below for your perusing, for your reading, and for your benefits. So you can so you can you can gather the information and come to any conclusion that you would like. Really neat concept. A lot of fucking money. <laughs> I wouldn't mind having something goofy like this. This is like right up my alley. I don't drink really. I mean, I'll have a beer at twelve once in a great while, but for the most part, drinking's not my jam. Um. And if I do, it's definitely not going to be Bud Light. <laughs> it's not going to be that shit. Um, but regardless, regardless, uh, this is a pretty this is a pretty nifty idea. And I'm glad the peoples that got together and they were able to put something like this together. And it's going to go to a good cause. Hopefully they raise a shit ton of money and this becomes a nice little piece for gaming history. So, I don't know. Have you seen this thing yet? Have you, uh, what do you think? Let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget, guys, I just opened up... A Discord server. Link is down below. Come join the conversation. I made that in, in lieu of having something with a paywall. You know, like this video right here will be up a day before I actually make it public. So, you know, stupid little things like that that a lot of like Patreon uh, tiers offer. Uh, I'd rather do that stuff in a, in a somewhat private place, but where you don't actually have to give me any money. There's plenty of ways to support me. Um, and if you want to learn about that, just... Watch the video I talked about with my my new server. My new server, and I'm still trying to figure things out over there. So just bear with me, guys. Thank you always so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you have a great weekend. And until next time, take care. Creep it real. I just smashed the table. Why do you guys watch this nightmare? <laughs> I appreciate you doing it anyway, but I wouldn't put up with it. Bye-bye.